Good morning, Gary. Good morning, Chris. Hey Chris, we really have to find a solution that will help us with these behavior problems within the school. Gary I totally agree, there's a system that a lot of schools are adopting. It is called PBIS which stand for Positive Behavior Intervention Support. Okay sounds interesting. How does it work? It is based on all three tiers. Tier 1 is based on behavioral expectations applied to all students and staff in all areas of the school. Tier 2 targets group intervention for students with at-risk problem behavior. Tier 3 is more of an intensive individualized interventions for students with risk problem behavior. Chris, this sounds really good. I think we are onto something here. It sounds like we are trying to bridge the gap between discipline and education. I like it, Gary. I know you are used to the traditional discipline, which focuses on student problematic behavior and the goal is to stop undesirable behavior, and we all know the method is primarily punishment which is based on reaction. With PBIS the focus seems to address identified needs and the goal is based on academic and social success, using methods such as utilizing teaching and instruction employees reinforcement procedures and data tracking system which allows us to become proactive wow i see chris it seems like you're a true advocate for this pbis chris you are the man gary let's keep in mind it is still the teacher's responsibility to incorporate procedures and rules in the classroom that promote successful behavior do you believe that the rules should align with expectations of course they should gary Remember rules aren't enough to create the structure to establish new norms of positive behavior. Classroom rules are vital when teachers are trying to establish structure. Is that correct? Of course it is vital, Chris. Quick question. Who participates in establishing the rules? Gary, that's a good question. It could be a number of people. It could be the faculty, the students, families, or a combination of all of them. Oh I see, Gary. You have to remember that the rules should be observable, measurable, reasonable, and enforceable. Keep in mind that PBIS is not a program. It is an ongoing, ever-changing process. Chris, I really appreciate you sharing your insight on this whole PBIS ordeal. Gary, no problem. Anytime you feel like talking just let me know. Sure will do. Hugh. That Chris sure can talk. I am glad I don't have to see him every day.